Hi there, tennis fans, and welcome back to our weekly countdown show. This week, we're covering the top five worst player injuries. Injuries are unfortunate occurrences. However, in an intense sport, they are inevitably unavoidable. Now, let's take a look at the worst of the worst. Number five. In August of 2010, Yanko Tipsarovich had a nasty ankle injury that forced him to retire in Toronto. As you can see from the video, Tipsarovich took it like a man and hobbled off the court unassisted, despite being in obvious pain. Tipsarovich took off the next month to recover before coming back to play in the US Open. Number four. Back in 1997, Andrei Chesnikov was chasing a backhand shot when his right foot planted and then snapped. Chesnikov fell to his back, took one look at his foot dangling at a 90 degree angle from his leg, and let out a blood curdling scream. Chesnikov had dislocated his right ankle and broken the tibia and fibula at the joint. Chesnikov surprisingly made a full recovery and not only walked again, but would return to the court. Number 3. In May of 2004, during a practice in Rome, a highly ranked competitor, James Blake, was running towards the net when his right foot got stuck in the clay and he crashed into the neck post, breaking his neck. He had fractured his seventh vertebrae, but luckily was not paralyzed. Blake made a full recovery in only three short months and returned to the courts. Number 2. Michael Shatik was at one point the number two player in the world. In October of 1995, at a tournament in Vienna, Austria, Shatik sprinted for a ball at the net and planted full force on his left foot. As you can see from the video, he twisted his left foot underneath him and his full momentum and weight fell upon it. Shatik was lucky to have only sprained the ankle and came back to the court four months later. Number 1. Mary Pierce had finished number 5 in the world in 2005 and in 2006 she was enjoying a flourishing career. But near the end of 2006, at a tournament in Austria, she was leading Vera Zvonareva 6-4, 6-5 in the second round match when Pierce ruptured her ACL in her left knee. She had held three match points before the injury. As you can see here, the injury was severe and ended her career. Hope you made it through all these injuries without getting too queasy. We hope you enjoyed this week's countdown and remember to check us out at TennisNow.com to stay informed about what's going on in tennis. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. As always, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.